Okay. Whoa. Damn. Oh my god. Okay, that... That sliding puzzle took a bit of dicking around, but... Figured you viewers didn't want me to... Didn't want to sit and watch me do that for nine hours. What is this? Two skeletons. They're kind of small, like me. Yeah, are, are, they, are they the two girls? Sister, promise, we, Clara, and Mia, Buhal met, promise to revenge the unfair. Their destiny, it, it word, decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though our sisters, we hate each other, we'll always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. So, so they were artificially stitched together. Duotine. My pills are called Duotine too. But these are once again the yellow ones. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe they were two different persons after all. Yeah. The bed and the floor look so familiar. They got the yellow ones, yeah. Wonder what's the difference? Hmm. Two-headed doll. Must be really old. The pink rosé. Pretty hair decoration. That's a blue rosé. I like it very much. This must be the key to the cage, finally. Mother must die. Yeah. Maybe that mommy wasn't a good mommy at all. Well, yeah, if she, if she let this happen to them. My mommy was very good. She hugged me many times. Okay. Enough teasing, can we finally free the kitty? I think this is the key. Yes! It worked, my dear kitty, it worked! Come out, let me hug you! Aww. We got our kitty back! feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's go. We found Mr. Midnight. Yes. Except now... How do we get out of this freaky place? Frog, you were holding on to something, right? I did, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That's perfect. Now we can leave this place and go find, go to find my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will we get out of here? There's no boat. Um, I guess we can't swim. So uh, I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable. Moldable? It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Well, let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Hmm. Can we take the... No, I guess it's not with the pills. My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Oh, 
rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Um, can E.T. help us? I don't think it would take me very far. I guess not. Oh, nope, I guess, uh... I guess he doesn't say anything different. Even though my body's quite moldable. Does that mean... Do we have something that can... That matches? We have... We have... We have baking soda. To make soft dough bigger and... Is, is that what he's talking about? Exterminator. Poor tiny monsters. That bug looks seriously mad. A broom. My favorite green crayon. Well, mold if he says moldable, let's try the baking soda. Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you're all slimy and soft, like dough. You're right, it may work. Here goes. Whoa! Okay, I guess it did work. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, friend, I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. Oh, yes. Frogs aren't really, uh... They, they pretty much are just giant mouths. Um... Well, let's just let him help us. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water's deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in here. Oh, in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. There, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you some. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Oh. And this book was in it, too. Oh, Leon. Oh, Toad, you found my family's photo. Thank you very much. I thought I lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Oh, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Alright. Ride the froggy. What the hell? But, er... Um, well, oh shit. Um, okay, I guess we're, uh, I guess we're playing Frogger now. Shit. Very, uh, very shitty Frogger. There we go. Oh, huh, we're not done yet. What the hell? Oh no, we're not we're not gonna get across that way. Uh shit. Well, okay, so I guess just clicking a direction's not gonna work. Um, can we click backwards? No, we can only go forwards. Yeah, this is like This is like really stupid Frogger. Okay, I guess we have to wait a while for a... the right thing to come along. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, 
that might... I wonder if that might have actually worked, too. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. A toad on board. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you, you too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for the ride. Friend, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Well then, stop licking your butt and let's go. Kitty, we'll be the first thing you do when we get home. Eat, of course. Eat till I fall asleep. And you? Hmm. <laughs> I think I'd like the same. Hmm. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, Kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Let's go. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Fran? Oh, wait. Oh, no, not you. Oh, we haven't seen you in a while. Oh, my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump! All right, here I go. I got you. Oh, oh no, kitty, why? Don't be afraid, friend. We always fall. And after the pain, we'll always rise. What the shit?
What the hell? Um, oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Um, I hear clothes all around here. She's not naked, is she? This isn't that kind of game, is it? French shoes. So I guess we're... Oh, an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my... Wait, she's a tree now? What is it? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Friend, you're a tree! Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling, my, I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. What the hell? What, but how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. That big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But your tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I gonna die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. What the hell is it? Attack of the vegetable people. Oh god, eat me hola. Kurke, kurke min rumma, haskrami. Eat me jokli vanti. Okay. Hey. Ah, oh, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Holka, kolke, hola. Stop it, I'll scratch you. Hola, rummanigne. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hola. Stop attacking me, I mean no harm. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Well, this is a strange turn to, of events. Where is the purse? I have no idea, but you do remember my mother's purse. Well, that one. Can I just ask what it looks like? Come on, kitty. Remember, it was brown and tiny. Please hurry. Um, I'll see what we can do. I can't really understand what you're saying. Too bad we're not a rabbit, or else... We could really mess this care up. Oh, there that must be the purse. I see my friend's purse. There we go. What? Aw, oh, come on. Oh, that's BS. I've seen similar mechanics. They circulate. Yes. But how do I make them stay that way? I refuse to expose my beautiful and soft fertile water. Oh, you vain cat. Hmm. What about this? Ooh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Okay. Now, let's put the stone in the cogs. There we go. Got the purse. Only because I'm the best. Mysterious 
book. I can't read it. Well, yeah, I guess you're just a kitty. Ooh, let, let's burn him up. It won't work, damn it. Well, can we just... here. Fair my darling, you're out the purse. That's amazing, you're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the... Mm, sir who's attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I hope he does. Eh, yeah, we'll see. Bonum ni haka. Ah! Ruma Paskinorto. Oh, what, what are you doing? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Oh, really? They were they were stabbing her with a spear just a second ago. Okay, Runma, Epo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galomba, Galomba. Well, okay then. Well, Chapter 3, Vegetative State. Kasipas, ya, Nihola, Unam, Ishmao, Midden Gorska, Ipan, or Frir, Gorska, Zero. Welcome, creature. My name is Ziar. Do you speak human? Oh, my goodness, yes, friendly words I understand. My good friend Rai told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Uh, help me please, I'm a girl. <laughs> no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Beg your pardon? Um. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Oh, really? Ah, oh, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Let me see. Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. A am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. 
That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. I have a question. Are you the king? <laughs> yes, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Etheristia. Oh, and an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're pretty. Okay. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time and I want to... I see. You're very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I'll lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. Where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first. You must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I understand your language? Eat this fruit. Ew, we just, we just barf it up. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. You sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything is your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, it depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Whoa, big bug guy! Where are you taking me? What are you gonna do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Okay, careful, Mr. Stag Beetle. Oh, hi. Good day. My name is Pelontras, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. A huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh, what have we got ourselves into? Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the, the great Velocus created it. 
as the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. So, when do I get my arms and legs back? Oh right, we wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. So, who's this Velocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to, to Ethersta, and his blood made this water pink. That's why it's so pure. No. Oh. So it's a very long story. Sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it you're here? What brought you to Ethersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about that. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It's actually the first time I've seen a human using the tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, hello sir, sir. How? I, I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing, I see. Well... When you traveled to Etherista, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there's only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Is that the guy? I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice. You don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. Well, let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the Sun, Spirit of the Water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran, from Etherista? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we'd fix it. This water's magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern. But he was an evil old man. An old man. Hmm. But he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. hope we can get a good break in this. Here we are again. Shows the R of the King what a nice Etherstenis you've become. Thank you, Dan Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, so, uh, Fran is now a tree. Well, 
we'll end it. I think we've gone well over here, so I'll end it, and we'll see what awaits us after this. See you guys next time. I'm playing a game. <laughs>